tumor sandwiches for breakfast. You understand? If you eat a tumor, do you get that tumor? What tuna? Tumor. Tumor. Like a brain tumor. You just shit it out. Surely, I wonder if anyone's ever even tried to eat it before. Dude, let's eat. Should I Google it? A tumor. Yeah, surely it'd be like you just shit it out. It'd be similar to brain, wouldn't it? Like eating a brain, similar texture. Anyway, are we live, Matt? Yeah, but not many. Yeah. No Mumbai this week. Mumbai's out. Uh, they're out of electricity. Shit. Is that your fault? It's fucking it's so racist. Though. You just oh, swore. Shit, you shit. just fucking swore. Dude. Fuck Cut that corona. Fuck it. No, no, Dude. fuck it, man. No, he fucking. Three minutes. Yeah, well, that's all I want. No, it's fucking. Did I? It's did fucked I, up. You said fucking, man. I said yeah. And you said fucking. That's what we're I fucking blowing up about, cunt. Okay, so the the Corona beverage is fine. Yeah. No, everything. Fuck me. There's so many rules in the world. So right. true. Connor, man. start afresh. Connor. Hey everyone. Connor. Um, Welcome. Also, guys, this week, this podcast, um, you might have noticed it's more, it's, there's a fair bit of light in the basement today. It's because it's still daytime. And that's because we're trying to film this early. It's because it's Esther's seventh birthday today. And I got to get home because we're going to some big family dinner. So we're trying to, we're, it might be a, a faster podcast than what you're used to. All right. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Matt's got to go on fucking holidays He's tomorrow. He's going to Tasmania. For like fucking five days. So that's why we have to film it today and we have to sort of get it done in an hour rather than like the usual two hour time that we give it. And excuse our pass rash. We had a lot of makeup on. Yeah, Michael looks Do I look like fucked. a fucking clown? Yeah, you look like you've had a rough night. Matt Brown was in our, one of our website videos today. Oh. Wasn't he? Yep. Yeah, in, so we have website videos. So we filmed a video, How to Be Sexy. Matt Brown was the judge because oh, he's God, the hot. king of sexy. All right. So that will be out on the website. I don't know. When you listen to this, maybe a week from now or two weeks from now. We're maybe it's already even out. You trying to back know. up content. So it's hard to say when shit's coming out now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But let's do these fucking sponsors. Yeah. As well, we're talking about the website. Look, our subscription website, the University of Markle is what funds... The podcast. Fun their lives. So if you want to support us or this podcast, there's a link in the description. Sign as 21 day free trial. You can have a look at all the content. See if you like it before you have to start paying and just see what you think. All right. Yeah. If not, that's too cool too. Or just like and subscribe and comment. Okay. It's very easy. Very easy. If you want to show a little bit of support. If you don't want to show support, that's it fine. It is cool. The comments that we have been getting. There was one comment. I screenshot it and sent yep. it to you last night. Very nice. That made me feel like really good about who I am. Yeah, the podcast. Like, fuck, am I doing the right thing? Sometimes we I wonder. Warm emotion, Matt. But yeah, we love and we read all the comments. So just Matt. keep it flowing, right? Keep it flowing. Sorry. The fucking we're getting some nice views as well. It's just we just love our little podcast community. It's so I just want to get everyone here and just big hug put them into a ball yeah yeah big oh, I'd human fuck it. ball I'd fuck all of them put together human ball and then we just fuck in the gaps and yeah. spray our cum and then the middle get seal all, it up so the ball can't even can't get untangled middle gets all gooey and that's just everyone's just all that's their warm center and then in nine months time the ball of human cracks opened and a creature emerges the fully actual creature and that creature is the only thing capable of destroying choir and question Fuck, so yeah, we're fully against Question now too because he's with that bitch. So fuck him too. Yeah, he's with Choir. Choir's the enemy. I'm pretty excited to read the to read the diary entry, but yeah, it's... Dude, Choir has a fucking Instagram account. You should see its face. Choir Brown, yeah. It's only so she can try and talk to me. Oh, mm. dude, it yeah. is hideous. It's like a black hole. And anyway. the other... The other sponsor of this podcast is, of course, Manscaped.com. If you need any male grooming products, head to Manscaped.com and use our discount code for the actual 20 for 20% off. These products are very good, okay? Be careful, though, with the ball shavers. You can still nick your balls, but they're by far the safest, best tools we've used. Am I right? I haven't nicked. Matt has, but that's because he's too rough. He's too fast. He's rushing it. He wanted to quickly get his balls smooth so they could be sucked on. Mm. So manscaped.com, twenty percent off your fucking fully actual twenty discount code. Go and have a look, okay? They got some cool shit, Ball especially coming up to yeah. Christmas. Yeah, remember the perfume. If you're about to, if you're in the club, you're gonna get some head. Take this with you. Spray it. All come. good. You come. You're fucking you come done. Cunt. It's fun. 
Now, also, there's not much shit talk because we only filmed the last podcast like four days ago on Friday. Now it's Tuesday and we're filming during the day. So not much has happened. What happened over the weekend? Fuck all. We went to our first person friends. I think it was the first engagement party I've been to. Oh, yeah. We had an engagement party. We didn't drink though. We just fucking... Yeah, fuck me. How different is it at parties when you are sober and everyone else is lit well especially at the end of the night it's like such different energy levels you yeah know? you were just laying on the ground the whole time yeah i relaxing. like thank fuck for weed because it just it makes it a bit funner i enjoyed it but it's just it's not the same being like down here when I mean, everyone else is lit you just you can't get into the mood when you're fucking baked yeah. or sober still very fun though it was it was a good time but so we don't have much to report to you guys other than yeah we're just fucking smashing content trying to get shit done same old fucking shit that we've been saying all the yeah, fucking time it was time. a strange day today as we we did the how to be sexy matthew was a fucking great judge we oh my god like julian is borderline if i i reckon Dad. had if i had a case of beer in me I reckon I'd probably fucking go there. I I'd fuck it. him from behind if he had a dress on. I can see that. If you didn't see his face. Because yeah. his bum is lovely. Mm. Let's be honest. He'd have to shave it. I haven't seen like when he opens mm. the cracks up. He's got great ass. Well, maybe next he time. He looked fucking hot. Like white, white trash, cum slut hot. You should try and next time you guys are playing Fortnite together, you should try and get him to dress like that again. Yeah, he's fucking in love with that. Yeah, Fortnite, don't forget right? to add Julian uh, for Fortnite. Yeah, any Fortnite. Oh yeah, by the way, any You've been Fortnite lovers with him. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's good times. He's very good, like but he's freakishly good. A fucking hot done up chick too. Like God damn it, he just needs to shave. Like anyway. on average, in the you know what is it out of a hundred? I think he like was showing us he comes on average second or he, third. Yeah, second oh, or his third. kill death yeah. ratio is very very. It's un- like it's I've never seen anything like it. He just sits there. His he hands hate, are like yeah. And his building skills? Yeah, like Incredible. it's just fucking crazy. Like I've honestly never seen anything like it. We keep telling him to start a gaming channel, but he's just like, oh no, no, I don't want people to fucking think I'm a nerd and stuff. But like, yeah, I've he, never he, seen someone. As soon as he finishes with us filming, he'll head home, dude, he and start playing yeah, Fortnite until the wee hours in the morning. And like yeah, he's training he's hard. Late. Yeah, he's been so late. He's just been fucking staying up too late. So guys, add him if you want to play because he does want to get out there and play with. Yeah, everyone. just message him. He'll fucking yeah. he, he messages back everyone. He fucking loves playing <laughs> playing with strangers or fans and stuff like that. So hit him up. Um, so this episode we have <laughs> it's going to be a slightly condensed. We have the prank call, of course. We got some PO box letters. We got some farts, and we got some questions. And is that it? Yeah. Yep. Um, there is some explanations, but we we may have to miss them again. Yeah, okay. We'll see. We'll see with the explanations. We'll have questions and do a few explanations. Mm. Mm-hmm. Maybe we Add could do that. question time. Let's get it rolling though. <laughs> and if, by the way, guys, any we love feedback on these segments, all right? So if you fucking hate something or you love something, let us know because we're not going to know unless you tell us, okay? <sighs> the fart segment went for a bit long last episode. We'll try and shorten it a bit this one. So many farts get set in, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Diary entry number 142 from Michael Corey Brookhouse. <clears throat> I realise today that we are, aren't we? I've never seen someone aren't before. They all are. So why are we and not aren't we? I like to think it's because we are, are. So next time you aren't, just remember that you actually are. So there isn't. No aren't. I find it so motivating. Anyway, I'm off to get some Alan Sour Frog Lollies and some Krispy Kremes. Holy fuck. That's good. That's new. That's new age. We are, are. And like, to be fair. We always are. And like when someone's like, oh, I'm not, I, I aren't. We are. You, you, you can say, but at the end of the day, it's not true. Diary entry number 112 from Marty. Today, I accidentally broke the family toothbrush. After my father, brother, and mother had used it, it slipped out of my hand and I stood on it and cracked it in half. We all have to chew on steel wool now to clean our teeth. It hurts when I shit. It was a pretty good day. <laughs> it hurts when I shit. That's good. That's very good. Thank you. Yeah, I remember that's steel wool. Steel wool. Well, it cleans your teeth. Oh, yeah. do not cut your gums. Yeah, of course, but your the teeth blood, are clean. Blood helps. Diary entry number 69 from Julian James Tennyson Woods from Ashgrove or some shit. 4060 till I die. 
Today I beat the fuck out of some year tours. I, I was on my way to the train station, walked past the primary school. I nodded at some little cunt standing near the f- school fence, and the little cunt said my bum bag looked funny. So I grabbed his little fucking hand and snapped a few of his fingers like toothpicks. His mates fully bitched out and started screaming. S- <clears throat> screaming and that. So I swung my arm at him as hard as I could, and my open palm connected with his fucking little squealing mouth. Shut the little cunt right up. Ha ha ha! Don't fuck with me, year twos. I'm fucking 18 years old. I love Fortnite. Stab, stab, stab it. Oh, yeah, I fucked it like three chicks. Stab, stab. Yeah! 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 Stab. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you can reach them tones. They're Sorry. Break glass. This Very is good. how it's written. Very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Written in a, as an A minor. Exclamation it. mark. So I had to reach that note. Oh, A minor. It's my favorite chord. Thank you. All right, Matthew Brown. No, E minor. Sorry. There we go, baby. Diary. Hey, just. Sorry. Just be a bit kind. It says what it says. Diary entry number 1017 from Matthew Gregory Brown. The sun had just risen and I was boiling some pubic hair for breakfast. I smiled as I stirred the hair, watching the boiling water turn a light brown colour. As I stirred, my ears pricked up. I could hear a commotion roughly 3.5 kilometres east from my house. In fact, it sounded like my father. I tuned in my hearing even more and I could hear him talking to what sounded like a policeman. If you don't leave this premises right now, you will be forcibly removed, Mr. Brown. I'd like to see you try, you blue dogs. I had heard enough. It definitely sounded like my father was in trouble. I plunged my thumbs deep into my asshole, and my body started swelling with ejaculate. I let out a powerful scream as my eyes bulged out of my skull. I was ready to fight. I spat and kicked my front door off its hinges and startled the neighbor's cats. I turned and began bounding backwards, reaching speeds of over 80 kilometers per hour, and letting out one long continuous scream as I went. I arrived at my father's house where three police officers had my father on the ground attempting to cuff him. Without hesitation I leapt high into the air from the sidewalk and drove my knees into the base of the skull of one of the officers. I crushed his neck and he was dead instantly. The other two officers both jumped back. I screeched and tore off my left nipple. I threw my nipple with great force at one of the officers as he drew his gun and the nipple sliced through an artery in his neck. Blood gushed out and I cocked my head back and laughed. (laughs) The final policeman was stunned and in shock. He grabbed his radio to call for backup, but my father was too quick for him. My father pushed the officer down, grabbed a hold of his entire bottom jaw with one hand, and pressed down on the officer's skull with his other hand. My father then violently ripped down, completely removing the policeman's bottom jaw. My father and I spent the next ten minutes breaking every bone in their bodies, then tying their broken limbs together in a cool, twisted shape. Then I sat down and painted a beautiful portrait of the mangled dead officers and sold it on eBay for $700. Dad, we make a pretty good team, you know. Would you ever consider helping me defeat Quiet and Creston? Son, I would be honoured. We passionately kissed and he sucked my balls. Alright, let's get out of here. Killing three policemen is going to get some attention. I picked up my father and we bounded backwards home. It's time we both started training for the battle of our lives. <laughs> he sucked my balls. <laughs> That's the best part. That's the, it's like it goes from a kiss to a, just a cheeky sucking of the balls. That's so extreme. <laughs> That's not how I interact with my father. Oh, 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 oh fuck. Fucking hell, it's getting crazy. Yeah, well, at least now you, you got some help. Yeah, fuck. Choir in question. 2v2 now it's fair dad's always been there <laughs> oh, oh fuck very good oh my god brown <laughs> oh my god brown <laughs> oh man mm, you that fucking gave me a little headache all right it's time for the questions everyone oh before we start the questions um <laughs> Sucked my balls. <laughs> I can't believe you sat down and took the time to paint their mangled bodies. Corpses. You In know, honor. You know how to paint? In honor. You gotta show us, can't. Um Amy Jones. Yeah. 
commented that because uh, she lives in Victoria, she has to wait an extra hour for the podcast, which reminded me that it is daylight savings in every other state but our state. Oh, so now it's an hour later yeah, for everyone. So um, anyone who's not in Queensland, um, actually, it could be well anywhere it does daylight well, should savings. Should we post to four then at 4 p.m.? Oh, no, that's all right. Everyone just wait. There you go, guys. Yeah, so if you're wondering why our uploads are an hour later, it's because daylight's... <laughs> daylight savings yeah, but if you want to think it over we could do it at four o'clock yeah if, look if we get enough a, a flow of communication saying that you guys want earlier I'm sure we can do that flow, flow. it's a name that's the first thing you've said that makes sense Oh, by the way, um, I don't know if you can see it, but on the green screen, I um, before we started, I was really eating as fast as I could, and I got a bottle of sriracha, and I didn't realize that the open, the top was open, and I shook it, and sauce went all over the green screen, so now there's smudges all over it. We didn't have time to replace it. We're under time stress, Matt Brown. It's actually good, looking. Good, it actually good. looks all right. We might be able to just leave it up there. Sorry, dude. It looks maybe better. Hmm. Maybe it adds character. It's like a scar on a. Do you think maybe better face? Maybe it makes it sort of individual. Next question. All right, let's get into it. Uh, top question went to Holzer Holtz. <laughs> mm. uh, question for the podcast. I don't know how this got top, but it did. Can we get Marty to be a German Father Christmas for an episode, please? Yeah, I oh. saw that. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Well, we just so I dress as Santa. You as Santa and you just to stay in a German fucking character would be the best. It finally God, might be a bit hard because we don't do podcasts over Christmas, but we might be able to do just randomly. Yeah, I could dress up as Santa and be have a speak with a German accent the whole time. It'd be so cute. What about the diary entries? Yeah, fuck it. Okay. All right, we'll fucking buy a Santa outfit for next week. And I'll just speak with, yeah, a thick German accent. Hmm? Um, sound like this. Hmm? More old man. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's hard, eh? I'm trying to imagine you doing an old man. Oh, you? Yeah, it's harder going deeper voice. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. See? Doesn't yeah. sound right. No. German, I am German, I am German. That sounds better. Um, Close second was uh, our fucking buddy, Donut Films. Oh. He uh, said, what's one thing you guys would want me to send to the P.O. box that hasn't already been sent? I dislike his gifts. So, <laughs> so whatever, you, whatever you reckon, we'll open it and we'll have it around us. Okay? Yeah. We still got your wee. Oh, fuck. Your brown, brown wee. Yeah, I wonder Dehydrated what's... freak. It looks like the fucking week-long bender piss. Yeah, dude. Oh, oh. Oh, to top it off, I didn't see this before, but there is pubic hair in there. <sighs> there is pubic hair inside the wee cup. Uh, I'm sick of holding piss. <laughs> yeah, just leave it in its cage. No, it's got to be free. All right, there's a cup of piss on the table, Donut Films. Your piss stays there. So, anyway, next question. Next question is from Jesse Creaser. Creaser. Um... It's a two-part question, Good. but very easy. Fine. It's for Michael. Good. Um, Michael, when Marty pulls down his pants to fart, are you looking directly at the hole? And what does it smell like? Um, when I was... Some weeks I am. I think I, the other week I was a lot because we'd had laxatives and I was scared he was going to shit. But normally... Yeah, I don't know. It is quite mesmerizing. Mm, it's, it would be. It stretches it so far apart, but... He tightens it by clenching it. It's strange. Strange to look it's at. It's taken a long time to get to this level. But um, the smell is... Uh, there's no smell ever. Very rarely. You did do a sour milk one at the jeweler the look, other day. It's, yeah. The, look, I reckon maybe 10% of my farts have a sick smell. But most of them... No, it's just, just clear air. Clean air. It's like nothing like you'd think it would smell especially for the long long farts that he does right and especially because there's no fabric there like underwear or pants to trap the bigger particles of shit yeah it just it's just straight straight in. out it's straight into a plume of fart into his fucking head and still scentless isn't yeah. that an incredible matthew it's fucking weird isn't that just insanity I, like I reckon I would probably start I to get sick of them. I saw some strange stuff today. I would start to get sick of them if they smelled. 
<laughs> He'd be too much all the time. Yeah, for some reason when he does them, they seem to not smell that much. Yeah, it's nice. Exactly. I wish they would. It's like cool. uh, if I had a choice. I'd like it now and then, but every time. No, nah, I would love it. Read. I'd love it because then I get something out of it. At yeah. the moment, it's just you guys. I don't even get to see it. I don't even get to enjoy the sound because You're I'm focused. concentrating. You're and if straining. I lose, if I do focus on the sound, I start laughing and it ruins it for everyone. <laughs> hmm. Um, before we continue, I also had um, last week, I forgot to mention, it was uh, it got lost in the... Because we had to cut our questions short a bit. Um, uh, Mel Wallace, which is John O. Wallace's... Uh, partner. Wife? Uh, I think they had their wedding anniversary on oh. the 12th. So, they just wanted to... Uh, Fucking congrats. She just wanted a shout out to him. Happy anniversary. Congrats. Uh, shout out to Jono. This guy, he's birds. been a fucking... Such a big supporter. He's even got like our logo he's, tattooed on his he's arm got, and shit. He's got our faces, a whole bunch of like little things from vids. And he's got Julian. Yeah. So, like he's he's a fucking super, super supporter. So, shout out to John Owen. Congrats, you bloody legends. You stay together. Don't get divorced, eh? One in two couples now, eh? I think they've been together for 12 years. Well, there you go. So, that's you, pretty much past forever. the hardest part. Yeah. <laughs> I keep thinking this is Bosley, but it's a fucking <laughs> it's a kangaroo. <laughs> There you go. A bit of Australia in Australia. <laughs> Next question is from Babic. Um, can you guys explain what clang means? Clang, similar to ringworm, is a substitute sound. But not only that, clang is something that when you hear it and when you say it, you it's feel addictive. better. It feels right. <clears throat> it's the, a collection of sounds. Clang. Clang, sh- yeah. That isn't... It's very unusual, so it's very satisfying to hear and say. You And like, if you get bored of clang, you've got clung waiting for you right there. Like... I'll be like clang, 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 and you you sing that for a while. It gets boring, but you go clang, 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 and it just fucking makes it so exciting again. Let's do a clang, clang, clang. We haven't done that for ages. Oh, that's too. That's past. I like that. Clang, well, clang, clang, clang. clang. Uh, uh, I've got a new one lately. It's it's okay. It's the clang, clang. It's the clang, clang. It's the clang, 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 clang. It's the clang, 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 clang. It's the clang, 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 clang. Oh, very good. Yeah, it's, it's addictive. Clang, clang. It's we fucking hard. It's a long one. It's a long yeah, one. That was my alarm clock. Yeah, it's really fun. Anyway. Um, uh, Sabrina had a quick question. Um, she also wanted to know uh, what's happening with the Triple M uh, account, which is your cotton. Big news, actually. <laughs> this is something that we forgot about, so... We can't give too much away, but yeah, you know how we're like always talking about weed. weed. We want to have our own line of weed one day. Well, we've taken we took, steps. We've taken a very big step in the right direction last week, and we've met with some people who can help make that happen. So this quadruple M shit, that is just like a side thing where we're going to sell, you know, bongs, pipes, just weed stuff. And but quickly, while someone asked, what the fuck is the vape that we use? We sell that at our weed shop. Mm. That's a PAX. They're the a PAX, PAX vapes. It's the PAX vape. They're the best in the world, There's that, but they're very expensive. They What's are very the internet expensive. address for it? Hey? What's the website address? www.cutn.com.au. So it's just think cunt, but it's just the T and the N are swapped over. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, so we've made a big step in the right direction. We'll keep you guys posted. Um, but yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a risky step, but it's a step that we've taken, and hopefully, in like a few years' time, we'll have a fucking oh, dude! Imagine we will be legal drug yeah. dealers. You know, one how, day. You know how Nelk has Happy Dad? We'll have our own line of weed. Oh, and, and it's then- just gonna be yeah. That's the that's the fucking dream, the business dream moving forwards. Um, but yeah, so. The, the that fucking website we're adding shit to it we're adding uh, products to it but because it's Australia and Australia is so sensitive every uh, what is it the payment provider or something yeah that, no one wants anything to do with us basically because we're selling weed and stuff so we have to send them like all these licenses and shit blah 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 it's a long very long process so we sort of just stopped talking about it until because we've learned our lesson we're always like oh we're excited this is happening and then something goes wrong and it doesn't happen so now we're just going to wait till everything is fucking done ready to go and then you'll be the first to hear about it fuck yeah it's exciting guys oh yeah but believe me mate (laughs) it's very exciting (laughs) is that yeah 
So. Next question is from uh, Tommy Dempsey. Uh, have you guys ever considered doing a documentary on your lives? A doco on our lives? Hmm. Look, I want to. Yeah, I'm still very keen to write the book. Uh, the book about us. There's enough footage. Yeah, but like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> a doco. A doco will come when we die. Yeah. Or when, or we're, when older. we're when we're it would retired. be like, later. like yeah, we're yeah, still young, we're not later. old yeah. yet. Yeah, I feel like we're fucking we're so young. We still. got still got like twenty years of we stories so young, to create that need to be in the doco. Well, Matt, you're pushing it a bit. What are you thirty eight? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> we are still young. Okay. Where we realize at the engagement party on the weekend that we are. We're oh. fucking old. No, we're not. Yes, we are, man. Early 30s is young. Dude, remember how quick it was from 21 to now? Yeah, it's gone. It's blurred. That, ag- that again, and we're in our 40s, cunt! But think what we have from those... That's a long years. time. I got 10 years of fucking I being honestly, young. I honestly feel like the 20s went so fast. It's because 50% of the time we were just fucking hammered and yeah, just forgot everything. Much. Yeah, it's all just a blur. But time does go quicker and quicker. They and so does Alzheimer's. It progresses so fast. Such Early an onset. aggressive disease. Early onset. A lot of people get now because due to diet, I reckon, Matt. That's my sneak suspicion. A lot of people eating shit fucks their brains up. And so, drinking and drugs. Yeah, that too. I think the fucking the MDMA like with the MDMA will come back to bite us. You <laughs> mark my words. It already words. has. I can't fucking think anymore. Our personalities have changed. Yeah, I'm like. I f- honestly feel like yeah. I'm a different. It's like we got that fucked up that some demonic spirit came into our empty shell when we were crippled, mangled, munted, and then laid eggs. F- we fucking yeah, that spirit just took over us, and that's why we're doing this. And that's why he is that latter. Next question is from Just Jin. Um, Marty, you snuck into Michael's house. Have you ever thought about sneaking into Julian's house? Can't. He- yeah, he lives in an apartment block. So it'd be like I'd have to scale the outside of his building. Everyone else would be other people would be able to see me. He lives in a very busy area. It was his birthday on the weekend. Just go give him love if you haven't ringwormed him yet. Also, uh, I'm love, just gonna fucking love. brag how fucking nice we are as friends. Yeah, we got him a nice, him a nice, nice watch. But he does love Fortnite. He was asking for um, yeah, he wanted the expansion pack, some perks or something. Yeah, yeah. that's right, the expansion pack on Fortnite. He wanted some new skins. Oh, right. Yeah, I don't know anything about it, but yeah. Julian's obsessed. Next question is from Tim Fraser. Fraser. Um, Marty and Michael, if you could invite three celebrities to yours for dinner and drinks, who would it be? Living? Yeah. Oh. oh, living or dead? Living or dead? Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. Stephen Hawking's. I'd go Will Ferrell, Stephen Hawking's, and um, fucking um, Charles Manson just to fucking spice things up a bit. Dude, and I'd give love him a to knife. Pick his brain. And just give him a knife as well. Oh, like give him big weapons and then just sit Will Ferrell and Stephen Hawking's down and like Will Ferrell in that situation would be fucking hilarious. He would. He would stir shit up. Like Stephen would be Stephen. Um, I'd go cool. I'd go fucking George Knapp oh, yeah. I'd pick the fuck out of his brain Stephen Hawking's to just grab and shit and then yeah, I'd Stephen. go probably like um, Ryan Dunn yeah. I'd, have, I'd have a beer with Ryan Dunn um, and then go for a drive with him yeah after. What would you serve? Uh, if for Stephen Hawking's, I would just serve a huge plate of mashed potatoes. Give him keyboards. And I'd, keyboards. And I'd sit right next to him and, and force feed him the mashed potatoes. Hmm. God, that would be good. Oh, man. I'd mash all over his fucking oh, face and down his shirt and shit. and shit. And just keep piling it in with those big fucking in, yeah. big, big wooden spoons, just mushing it into his throat. Yeah. And he can't even type out what he's trying to say or whatever he does. Because there's potatoes everywhere. I think I'd have um, Quentin Tarantino. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. And I'd have Donald Trump for a bit of fun. Yep. And... Oh, fuck me. Uh, oh, and um, Travis from Blink-182. I just think mm. he's cool. We followed him the other day. Who? Travis. <laughs> it's not the same if you say we followed them, eh? No. It's far worse. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's better when they follow you. <laughs> um, <laughs> what is going on here today, eh? Uh, uh-huh. Next question is from Orion. Um, Marty, why do you always spit on Michael? Oh, he's got a weird spit technique. It like, you don't even like... 
I don't know how you do it. I don't know how I do it either. I think I get this. Let me describe it as I do it. Okay, so I get the spit and I put it at the tip of my tongue. And you sort of... And then I press my lips together and then push the spit out with my tongue, I think. Yeah, I can do that, but not as far as you. <laughs> I... 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 Oh, <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess on my tongue, but I... Yeah, you spray. Oh, oh it sprays. It's like a fucking... Michael's is like a shotgun. Yeah, yeah, but oh. you get the main chunk with all the golly shit. Yeah, I get it. And that's what... I goes. can do that too. And again... Yeah, I just you open my mouth. And yeah. yeah, it's a tip of the tongue. But I don't do it like how you... I don't. You you have a little syrup, like sanctuary pool, and then you just keep it at the top. <laughs> yeah, and well, then it you're the only out. person I know that can have a huge rubber golly in every spit. Yeah. Next question is from Callum's left ear. Um, are you boys ever going to stream on Twitch again? Oh, oh yeah. We just forget about that, eh? Like... We want to. It's literally just we need time. Like, yeah, we don't want to say yes and then you know not do it. Because and like, it sucks because we literally got it to the point last time where we were just about to be monetized and then we stopped. Yeah, we could have started making a bit of coin, and like, but yeah, I don't know. It was just fucking. Next year, I reckon. Oh, yeah, we can do it next year because we'll have a fucking. We're we hiring. This is what's happening, guys. We're hiring. Um, someone to help us with all the admin, all the organizational shit. And we're also hiring another editor. So we will have more time to do shit. So I'm putting it out there. Next year, we're going to be Twitch streaming. Dude, it's going to be so fun. Like, and we'll get it set up. Because last time we were at the computer and it was fucking, you cramped up like this trying to game. Hot. It's shit. It's hot. We want like a couch. We want the whole room to be the Twitch room. <sighs> oh, it'd be so nice. A couch. And all those this- crystals that we saw today everywhere. Oh, dude. Oh, no. dude. So good. Oh, Expensive. and the girl in the crystal shop can oh, serve you drinks. Her. Crystals. I didn't see her. She was beautiful. Crystals. But that's the plan next year. And the cool thing about our Twitch will be it's not just gaming. We're going to have Mr. Brown, a few other friends. We could Julian. do prank calls. We'll tw- get the Twitch boys. Stream. We'll get fucking Jackson and Lockie up. And we'll do some weird... Imagine gaming and if you lose, you have to, I don't know, do something fucked up or to the other gaming, guy. gaming, G-A-Y, apostrophe, oh, M-I-N-G. If, so imagine, gaming. Like, so if, imagine if Julian lost in FIFA, like a best of three matches, and the loser has to like suck the other one's balls. Or gaming. Gaming. We, See yeah. what I mean? We've started a new niche there. No one's done that before. No one will ever be Julian at Fortnite. He's the best I've ever seen. Yeah, we'd have to do a different <laughs> game other than Fortnite if Julian's playing. That's for sure. Next question is from Sun Goku. Um, how is how does one spell B more B? As uh, there's a lot of variations. See, there was to- there, well, there was a time where we you chuck B double E in there because B's are, they're the, the fucking saviors of the world. Well, B's are the best at being B, not B double E B E. So that's why we said B's, not because it's the same sounding as the word B, but because B's are very B. Yeah, his half of their name is the word. Well, B. exactly, like so like sixty six percent. But actually. I reckon if you're gonna get it tattooed or you put it on a shirt it is be more be yeah on twitter we've joined twitter now um and it's you'll see one of our tweets it's hashtag be more be be m-o-r-e be all right so if you want to comment that on our videos and stuff like that and such and so forth etc be more be that Next, all right, we'll have two questions left and then we'll move on to... Oh, move on to something else, is yeah. it, Brown? <laughs> um, <laughs> this one is from James, Captain Kirk, Patrick. Um, he hasn't said anything. He's left it blank. <laughs> Sorry. Had a, had a moment. Um, what do you guys like to watch more, Borat or Ali G? Stay safe, guys. Borat, oh, man. Both are very good. Have you watched the Ali Dude, G movie? I, okay. I have a confession to make. Everyone, and this is the same with South Bank. Everyone goes South fuck it. Bank? South Bank. Every, the same what? with South Park. Everyone goes on about South Park. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I'm used to going to South Bank. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking about the pool. It's a suburb um, in Brisbane. <laughs> South Park, everyone raves about. I was never a fan. Did you ever watch, sit down and watch it though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new episodes are good because they're trending and it's about what's happening and they fucking hack into all the fucking dickheads out there. But Ali G, I, I just never connected with it. I just thought it was shit. Like, really? It's funny, like the whole gangster playing the narrative of Yeah, it's extreme, just taking the piss out of him. But like, 
Borat is so much funnier. It's the same same kind of like humor. It's very very witty. Ali G, the movie. I didn't watch like you know, the interview show on any of that. I just watched the movie. And the movie. It's fucking hilarious. It's, Ali G in It's the very house. equal, both of them for me. And it's They're not uh, very good. Yeah. Okay, and what about Borat the, the dictator? Because Ali G is a movie. Borat's a fucking social experiment. End movie. Like, tr- Borat trumps Ali G just because it's the public that's... It's innocent people. But he does have an Ali G with. as well. No, he doesn't. I'm pretty sure he does. Nah, Ali G in the house is fucking... It's or maybe not the movie. Yeah, the main, interview, he does it on the street. The interview show yeah. where he, he would get... And he's had got some fucking funny interviews. We had David... Didn't he get David Beckham and Posh? He's got a, he's had a yeah, lot. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm thinking movies, okay. But yeah, his character, the gangster character is good, but I fucking prefer Borat. What's the one Marty showed me recently um, where he's the, the, his brother's a spy? Oh, um, what's it called? Fucking- where Bigby? He, the, the great Gibbs. The, Gibbs it's, it's Bigby. No, Gimsby. Gim, yeah, the Gimsby. brothers, Gim, brother Grimsbury or something. Yeah, Grim, fucking, that was great. Yeah, that <laughs> he's was got like fucking... the Liam Gallagher haircut. And yeah, also the, what about Bruno? Yeah, Bruno, Bruno was alright. Bruno yeah. was, wasn't as good as Borat. Yeah, for me. Borat's the like the original. It's fucking amazing. But yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of Ali G. Like, it's good. It's just not. Fucking what about amazing. the trial of the Chicago Seven? But you guys haven't seen that. Oh, mm. well, who's in that? Fucking Sasha. Sasha. Really? Yeah. Is it Got funny? nominated for an Oscar. Is it funny? Uh, I think it's a bit more serious. Okay. Did you like the dictator? Yeah, there yeah. were parts in the dictator that I found fucking hilarious. It's like how like. How extreme like, he is in He's sometimes. just so, yeah, so borderline, so offensive. I and love he just, bangs Kim Kardashian and he fuck. instantly goes, you now have herpes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Look at what I've done in the scissors now. You've reversed it. You try and figure that out, mate. Go on. All right. Well, that was um quite the question. The final question of the day is from Funston5000. Um, out of Marty and Michael, who has done the more shit? Like uh, in our lifetime, I'll leave that with you. Um, there was a time when Michael would, sh- you know, you do f- how many five, sh- five a morning, just a squirt, a quick squirt, an hour later, another squirt, he'd have a fucking coffee squirt again. So <clears throat> it used to be just liquid everything. So, I don't know, it evens out. Shit question. <laughs> <laughs> We've probably it's probably about the same. It's probably about the same, no. Nah? How much do you shoot a day? A day? Yeah. Oh, not every day. Yeah. If, um, if, like when I was gymming ages ago, eating lots of meat and that, you'd shit every morning. Every morning. Yeah, I shit every morning. But then now when like I fast, three times. I don't, I'm, it's like twice, it's like every second day. Mm. It's weird. It's fun doing poos, man. Like, it is nice, eh? It's hey? literally, it's better than it's like getting fingered a bit. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It just feels like fingers. That relief. It feels so good. Yeah. Well, so do wheeze when you really need to piss. Yeah, if you really need to piss, a good wheeze, like, oh, it's just relaxing, isn't it? But a shit, a good, thick, hard shit. Or explosive, like. Yeah, the explosive ones sometimes freak me out because it's like, fuck, what's going on? What's going on out. in me? It's going yeah, on in me. I get a, a hemorrhoid, so I'm scared that's going to happen. That's got again. a fucking hemorrhoid, cunt. I bet you that's questing. Can I see it? You have it. Have no, you always no, had no, it? No, 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 no. He doesn't no, have it anymore. But I, I, I did get one, and then now it's like on edge all the time. I miss your hemorrhoids yeah. too, Michael. Right. Always, whenever we went on holidays and would bend a heaps, Michael would always get these big, beautiful hemorrhoids, and they'd grow and grow, and he'd panic more and more, and it was just so nice. Yeah. Hey, Luigi. I miss them too. Hey, Luigi. It, like they really hurt when you sit down and cough and stuff. Like they're really? not. They're not pleasant. What does it feel like? Like a pinch or something? Yeah, like, like they itch and they bleed. You cough, oh. and it would like I don't know your asshole hurts because it would clench on the hemorrhoid. Mm. And like hurt it. It's like a, imagine having a boil but on your bum in your asshole. You know boils? Yeah, no, I've never boils. had one. They're just a big lump, dude. I've I'm, I'm sort of boils. shocked that I haven't had one because of how hard I push. Oh, hemorrhoids. I, no, I think hemorrhoids comes from diet and uh, like i only get it when i'm fucking on drugs and alcohol for yeah like uh, um it's just when you stress like when you when you shit. maybe they're sort of like they're like the asshole cold sores no you call it that because then that'd be like asshole herpes yeah there you go maybe that, um, that's what it is i think maybe that's, that's actually the medical term for it before hemorrhoids so. but uh yeah when you when i was young no one really told me oh don't stress too hard because this could happen 
you know, if you if you had the little inkling of shits, so I try and push it out. And so if you push too hard, that's how you get hemorrhoids. Yeah, and weight doing I weights. Fucking, I swear to God. You see I how thought, I never had that. I yeah, push so you, hard sometimes. Yeah, I I honestly think it's more to do with fucking diet. It's diet and how hard you put and stressing. It's probably a lot of things. How about we leave, put it to bed and we'll say you can get hemorrhoids many ways. We'll table it. And we'll put it up to the top and we'll slide it back into the drawers. All right, we need to move the farts around oh, out of time. Oh, yeah. All right, the next segment is the fart. Fart art. Fart. Where you guys send in your farts, okay? You you record your farts. You film yourself. You scream your name at the end if you want. And you send them to Matt Brown at the Marty and Michael fully actual Instagram account, which has just passed over 2,000 followers. Very good, everyone. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. We'll get through. Don't stress, okay? If you've done a really ripper fart and we haven't played it this week, don't stress. We'll get around to it, okay? We just don't have that much time um, this week. Uh, Anyway, so um, here we go. First fart. You could hear him start laughing. See what I mean? You can't even enjoy the farts. If you listen, you start laughing. You go, brr, 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 brr. It's not what a good way to finish. Good fart though. Great length. Yeah. So wish it was a bit more high pitched. That's all. Yeah, I like that one. Next fart. <laughs> Imagine being on the toilet next to that chap and hearing that. <laughs> oh, chap. <laughs> yeah, I liked that. It was wet. Mm. Fuck me, I've seen that guy's face before. He sent farts in last week. Some dudes just have, like, that's great. How do you do that? Yeah, yeah. and I, I didn't I, think that was just real. when you're about to think it's fake that you hear that sizzle at the end. You're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. It's real. It confirms the authenticity. Wow. Well done, The man. authenticity sizzle. Mm. Ooh! Thought I farted, but I shit. <laughs> oh, that guy's your shit his pants. Very good. That's yeah, the best. Nice. That's the that's the holy grail of yeah, fun. That's what you want. <laughs> See variations, different tones. That was good. Was on he, the he needs to be in a quiet room. I reckon he get better sound out of that. Yeah, and also like, where's the name screaming from people? Yeah, where's the weird yell at the end? Is that an ass? Yeah, baby. Man, it's damn, so, baby, that's it sounds like the asshole's that big. Like that's a lot of sound yeah. from one bump. It sounds like it's angry at something. Yeah, it's like a, a fart yell. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fucking chuckle at themselves at the end. And so they should. That's great work. <laughs> Give a cut on the back. Cut on the back there. That's great news. It's great news. Oh, yeah, there's good. talent there. He's you could tell, on I it. heard the strain in his voice at the very end. Like that. The yeah. very end, you can hear. I'll show you. Hear it? Yep. Whoa, that was fast. <laughs> My turn. Please. Please, Jesus. I guess yours is broken. Fuck! Is that how that is? Yeah, no, no, no. Just live it up and then twist the things. It loosens. Twist the balls. (sighs) Fuck. I'm so disappointed in myself lately. Yeah, not bad. Mm -hmm. I like the second part. That's a bit better. Dude. 
if I that is if, one of the that, best I've ever heard. Yeah, that was my favorite of like ever. I love him. How I'm did he maintain? Not only that, the different levels. Uh, it sounds like he's in a bath. So high. So I think the the sound at the beginning is like water as well. You know what I mean? People Let's need to step their fucking game. Dude, that, that's the that, best. That's, that's one honestly, of the best I've ever heard. Yeah, I, I got to hear that again. It's so beautiful. Fuck me. Very good. Finish on that one. <laughs> yeah, see? Different tone. Starts off deep, gets high. And that, you think it should have been five seconds less. A normal, like a good fart would be five seconds less than that. That's fucking amazing. That kept going. That was unbelievable, Matthew Brown. That's fucking fixed my day. That one's funny because it's a video of his sleeping partner and then he puts his ass right near her face and farts. So, thank you for that. Yeah, that's nice. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> I love how a lot of these are just boyfriends farting on their fucking girlfriends. Very good. <laughs> Fucking hell, that was like smooth and then he came, went off road and went on a bit bumpy. <laughs> Very good. All right. Just caught it. A couple more. Oh. Oh. And that was the last one. Dude, that air raid yeah. siren fart was Very, just like, yeah. That's the best one. Well and done. I don't know who that was, but... If you, if you do, if you back. fucking, if you manage to do something like that, just just say your first name, even just after, just be like, you're like, as if you wouldn't claim. Yeah, that. he like needs you, to continue sending us. You you got to sign them. You got to sign them off. Otherwise, we don't know who's who. Hmm. You know what I mean? Very good. Thank you, everyone. What a beautiful, beautiful segment. Yeah, it's definitely it's it's evolving and it's becoming, as you said, beautiful. 110% man We can make a compilation Of all these one day Okay alright guys We're gonna do The fuck PO box Also prank call Don't worry The prank call's already done It's right at the end right So we got some fucking letters Here we got the pr the, pr the PO box segment <laughs> Where we open shit That you guys have sent to us Okay So if you wanna send us Some shit We open everything live On the podcast We don't look at it beforehand There it is There's the PO box 256 Tagum 4018 Queensland and don't be afraid to get creative with what you send. Yeah, like you can send us literally anything. We're not picky boys. Do you know what I mean, man? God, this is probably the worst podcast we've done all season. Oh, oh yeah, we got cool right. shit. We got a gift card. Oh, yes. We got a gift card. Yes. Oh, look what I have. A letter. I thought this was going to be from, from the, the code yeah, guy. Code guy. Dear Marty and Michael, can you tell Shami that I, Max, think Shami's oh, ex-girlfriend Paige is fucking hot? Excuse me. Excuse me, one sec. That's what I think of that letter, cunt. <gasps> oh, a little crack at the end. Um, oh, what's fucking going on, man? It's all right. We'll just have oh, see how that one it. smells a bit? Um, anyway, yes. To think Shami's ex-girlfriend Paige is fucking hot. I touch her bum and play like drums. Paige Shami's ex-girlfriend makes my dick look like this. She basically gives me an N erection. So he's drawing a really long, thin erection. Looks a lot like a worm. And uh, thank you for that. I'll, I'll pass that on. We'll pass that on to Shami. Let him know. Thanks, mate. We'll fucking pass that on. Yeah, I'll tell Shami about that, yeah. Let's call him. <laughs> Oh. We should fucking call him, shouldn't we? <laughs> should get him on the phone. Oh, man. All right, we got another letter here. I can't read it or show you what it is. It's just a really naughty word that would get us cancelled if we read it out loud. <laughs> so, but thank you, because okay. it all, it's all good. Now, from something that... Fuck, this is worthwhile. Look, we get a gift. This is a gift. It's a $30 gift voucher. 
Fuck yeah, dude. Someone's just sent us $30. That's fucking amazing. God, you guys are And we legends. got some letters here, okay? So, we can spend this. Whoa. Look at all the cool places we can spend this at. JB, Adidas. All right. Fuck. Stuff. Wait, we might have an assignment here, so let's not thank him yet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, it's like a fucking big fucking scroll. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> here we go. I feel like a, like a, a scholar. Okay. Dear Marty and Michael, I just want to let you know that your videos and podcasts are fucking the best. In the letter you have received, there is the letter you're reading right now. Gift card. The gift card is for you guys. And a second envelope with my address. Please do not read out my address since I don't want people to know where I live. And please don't take off the stamp on the second envelope. In the second letter, there is a photo of you guys. That's us, Marty and Michael. I have a mate who loves your videos and podcasts and he has been a bit down lately since we have been in lockdown in New South Wales and his birthday is on December. Would guys be able to give autographs on the photo if you blah, blah, blah. The reason why I'm giving you a gift card as thank, thank you for giving me your autograph to give to my friend. Blah, 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 blah. So then we've got the clang, clang, clangs here and then we've... Oh, so many ringworms. After when, put it in there. Private account, message me when done. Right, Man, well, that is a fucking assignment. There you go. And we'll make sure to shoot those off. Next time we go to the PO box, we'll just chuck them in the fucking mailbox, cunt. <laughs> That's why we got to keep this and the address on it. That is the PO boxing. Remember, we're all out of PO box shit right now. We're going to go back to our PO box, see if there's anything new. But if you want to send us anything, send it into that PO box uh, and we'll open it. <laughs> Um, and now we got to, uh, what, the fucking uh, prank call. Oh, yeah, I got to get going. It's 9.35. I have to go. It's Esther's birthday today. She wants to open her presents. Hey, sup. I got to go. Prank call time. Me call Bunnings. Try to get job as Darren. For yes. those who don't know who what Bunnings is, Bunnings is a, a tool shop. It's like a Home Depot in America. Mm, where you can buy gardening, home... Lots of tradies go there. Tools. <laughs> it's like a shop I never go to. Yeah, but Darren's been laid off recently and he's desperate for work. Right? He's fucking got a kid coming and that's... He's just got a third kid with his, a different... A third girl. Running for... Speaking. Yeah, g'day. Um, my name's Darren. Um, I'm just calling. Um, you's like hiring on that. Like, do you um have any uh jobs um available at the moment or? Ah, uh, okay. Um, I'm not entirely. I do know we've just gone through a round of hiring, but I do know. If we were still hiring, it would be on our website where it shows um what jobs are available. So if you were to head on to our Bunnings website, and there's like a little tab along mm. the top part that says Yeah, jobs. look, um, I don't actually have um, access to what like, computer and that um, at the moment, but if you've got one there at Bunnings, I can come in and... Um, like apply on yours computer and that if you um, have internet there because yeah my laptop broke like um, six months ago and, and like because I got laid off like a uh, month ago right I haven't been able to fix it and that so like you know you saying I need to apply online it's sort of like catch 22 right because I need a job to get a lappy to apply yeah. online right but yeah, no, that's where you's come in like do you know what I mean like and like I can just if you just want to take some notes and that like I can I can just tell you just just real quick couple of minutes just tell you what I'm good at and that and then um and then we can just go from there because like resumes and that like like who reads resumes and that these days like it's fuck 2021 you know but I've got like like so like, I've I used to like mow lawns for my uncle um back when I was like 15 16 right so like um and I did that for about two years right so like. I know heaps about uh, the lawn miles and that. So if you've got like an aisle with like gardening and that, I'll be uh, you can just throw me in there and I'll fucking just sort that sort that all out for you. I'll um, be one of them like floating guys who like goes around and just gives people tips and that about um, lawn miles and that. And um, yeah. the the other thing I'm um, heaps good at, um, I built a uh, a dog house. Um, for my dog, um, like maybe two months ago, like, and I just YouTube that, like, I just went to Bunnings, YouTube it, and like, I put that together. It took me about two weeks, but she's like, she's sound as so, like, yeah. with like little building things and that, like, I can help out, and also like gardening that. I guess you could like make say like, oh yeah, he's like gardening expert and that. My name's Darren, by the way. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, it bounced me down. Sorry, yeah. you've only bounced through. The only thing is, you've only bounced through down to one of us at the service desk. So, um, what I'll have to do, I'll just have to pop you through to one of our ladies. Yeah, put me on the big boss, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. But there may be a way, since you don't have a laptop, for you to, like, apply, if that makes any sense. Yeah, nah, right, right, right. Yeah, um, look, like, because applying, I'm sure, it wouldn't take that long, right? What, like, five minutes and that? Uh, yeah, it wouldn't take that long. I do know on our website, though, it does require you to have, like, a um, resume and, like, a cover letter, I'm pretty sure. Right, well, I can write that down on a bit of paper, right, and I can take a photo of that. So that can be my resume. Like, I can draw one up um, on a bit of paper. I'm sure he's got a bit of paper there and a pen too, right? So if I just duck in uh, maybe maybe first thing tomorrow or, like, maybe, maybe like, tomorrow are they, right, and I'll just yeah. um, write it all out on a bit of paper there, take a photo of it, and then um, I can upload that as my resume on the um, online bit on there the, and then the I'm sweet to start I'm sweet to start like Monday. Friday like I'm, I'm ready to go Friday um, and I sort of yeah look I'll do it for about 30 an hour um, and I'll also obviously need holidays and that because like you know I've got kid coming on the way and that so um, but yeah if you if you can write all that down and just tell the big boss um, that I'm coming in tomorrow morning to apply for a job and then um, yeah I'm sweet to start on Friday if he's, if he's good to go what I'll do, I'll transfer you through to her now, now that she's in. Oh, She'll sick. be able to give you like sick. that finer detail rather than you um, coming in and then seeing her then. No, nah, that's sick. Sense. Yeah, yeah, right, no. Nah, nah, yeah, do that. Yeah, that's sick. Okay, won't be a second. No worries. I'll see you at work on Friday probably. <laughs> All right. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> see, right, see you later, mate. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. Off to the manager. That's sick. Is I'm it? off to the manager, am I? fucking copied you. <laughs> Good afternoon, my name is Virginia, this is Casey. Uh, Casey, is it? Yes. Yeah, g'day Casey, my name's Darren. Um, I was just on the phone with, um, I forget who it was, but um, she's basically said, um, look, because I'm, I'm, I'll call, right, just asking for a job on that, <clears throat> and she's basically said, look, you need to do it online, blah, 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 but I've, I've come back and said, look, I don't have a working laptop right now, so I don't actually have um, internet, so I said... Um, if I come in first thing tomorrow, right, and um, I just quickly come in five minutes, I use one of your computers and I can apply there, and then I'm sweet to go. I could start Friday, this Friday, if you just wanted to. I can do the um, and that chick said, yeah, yeah, all good. She was saying like, yeah, yeah, shoe in. So I'll start on. I can yeah. start on Friday and that. So like. Because I've got no heaps about gardening and stuff. So, like, I can start on this Friday, but I just need to do yeah. that applying online thing, like that um, yeah. applying a job or some sh- something you guys said or some shit. Yeah, so there's a bit more of a process behind that. So it's not like you apply and you're here in the next couple of days. It's a much lengthier process than that. Um, unfortunately, so I can't. we wouldn't be able to use one of our computers because they are locked with our business information in, on them. So we can't have anyone that doesn't work for the business. Do you know what like I need to what info I need to log into the computer and that? Log into whose computer? Your computer. Like you know that info, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we we can't. Have so if you, you tell me if you computer. tell me that, then like I can log in. And then, like, I'll just be, like, five, ten minutes. I'll just upload my um, resume and that, and then I'm, I'm out of there. Yeah, it's a bit more lengthy than that as well because there's a bit of online induction that you have to do using a, using it. So there's, there's a bit more of a length. I understand what you're saying, and I appreciate mm, your, yeah. um, your eagerness to get it done. But Yeah, yeah sort of struggling with cash, eh? Good job. Um, so, like, yeah, yeah, look... <laughs> I, I sort of need some work, like, and I was sort of hoping to start by, like, Friday and that. Like, you uh, um, you know, I go to you guys a lot. Like, I go to your Bunnings a lot. I know where shit is. I even know some of the staff there and that. Um, so, like, I know you've not normally got to do, like, oh, you got to bloody do it online and that. But, like, like, come on. Like, between you and I, right, it's bloody tough times and that. I've got to fucking miss a popping out a kid in a couple of months. I've been laid off about two months ago. And, you know, I've just been slinging a bit of weed on the side, but I need a new job. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm, it's getting a bit urgent. I'm running out of cash and I've got a kid oh, on the way. Yeah. So if we can just, like, bypass all that all that shit, like, let's just let's just get... I want my, I want to work for you, right? You need worker. I'm right here saying I'm I'm, I'm ready to go. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm fucking... I'll be there on Monday morning with fucking bushy-tailed, fucking bright-eyed, right? I'll fucking do that job better than fucking anyone I've ever fucking seen before, cunt. 
Yeah, okay. All right. I appreciate your eagerness. Unfortunately, we won't be able to help with that, okay? What, what's up? What do you mean? Well, of course you can help. Like, he's got computers, right? I'll come in tomorrow. Just give me the logins. I'll apply. And then done. She's she's submitted, right? And then Friday, Friday morning, 6 a.m. or whatever you start, I'll be there. Mm. 30 bucks an hour yeah. plus holidays. I also don't appreciate your language you're using with me as well. So What um, language? What are you talking about? A, if you can find a computer to, to do it. What you, language? English? Sorry, you don't know okay. English? All right. Okay. What do you mean, darling? Okay. What, what language are you talking about? I'm speaking fucking English to you, mate. What do you never had a bloody, bloody swear word before, mate? No! 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 All right, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! That oh. was cringe, man. That was hard when you called her cunt. Oh, oh you could tell she yeah, sort of hard. she let it Sickening. go as a joke. But then she came back and I'm she brought it up again. That. No, that was fucking brilliant. I hated Very it. Very good. No, I fucking... There's something about Darren that just makes me want to feel him up. He's a he's an honest... He he's says it. He's straight a straight shooter. shooter. He says it how it is. He doesn't understand the... <laughs> The, the manners. The, the, bu- the, bu- <laughs> the bureaucratic process of things, you know? Yeah. He doesn't understand. He's not very formal. He's a bit rough around the edges. He's a rapist. Yeah, he would have, I reckon. He, he's a he, thief. No. Okay, I reckon halfway through she's passed out and he's kept going. And that's, she doesn't know. That's something Darren would do. On meth. Yeah. Matt? I want to go home. <laughs> he was the whole time has his... Fingers in his ears, and cringing. I was cringing. That it was still hard. wasn't working. I had to push him harder. Yeah, so it's, I got because it, when they're so nice like that, you gotta I gotta step it up a bit. Otherwise, there's no reaction, and it yeah. just ends up them being no, sorry. So you gotta fucking push their buttons a bit, can't? Do you know what I mean? Can't? <laughs> we're the fucking best, can't? 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 We're the best, can't? We're the fucking best, can't? We're the fucking best, can't? Don't forget to fucking like, comment, and subscribe. All right? We get like fucking ten thousand views on these podcasts in a week how many likes are we getting like five six hundred really that means there's like that's pretty good ratio but that means there's, there's a that's one in 20 th- there's a there's a there's lot of you who, there's a of lot you. of you that could be pushing that thumbs up and subscribe and commenting do you know Might what i mean as well like it's the end of the podcast you don't even have to fucking do anything it's over just but press it at now. the time it takes you to get out of the app and shit you may as well just press like and then get out of everything you know what i mean anyway we yep. are the fucking best. We're the best. Bye. We're very good. And we'll see you tomorrow. That was a quick podcast. Mm. It's only 8.30. I'm so confused. Who? Really? No. Nah. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh.